Perfect. Hello, world. What is up? Thank you for that. Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte, man. We are here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Our next guest star in the highly anticipated feature film, Cats. Since the first trailer dropped, excitement has been steadily building. And with some of the reactions coming out of last night's premiere, man, I don't know if the world is ready for this movie. It is stunning. Joining me in just a moment to talk all about it, the stars of Cats are here. I got Francesca Hayward, Jason Derulo, Robbie Fairchild, Lori Davidson. They're in the building. How do you guys feel about that? I know how they feel. You hear them? You hear them? We're very excited. We're going to bring them out in just a second. But first, I believe we have a quick look at the trailer, so let's go ahead and run that clip. Ladies and gentlemen, make a crazy amount of noise for the cast of Cats, for Jessica, Jason, Lori, Robbie. Let's go. Oh, y'all so sweet. Oh. Congratulations. I can't say it enough. This film is incredible. You are all outstanding. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you so much. Congratulations. How's everybody doing? Incredible, Very man. Good. How you doing? I'm, all right. I'm not bad, honestly. This is a pretty good day right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling I pretty good. I'm glad you're having a good day. You know, I'm a little tired. I, mean, I can imagine. You guys had a long night last night. Did <laughs> you sure. not? For sure. Yeah. Last night was uh, amazing. The premiere, New York City, the energy. I was there. The, the, it was unreal. What was it like from your perspective? Uh, seeing it in a room, packed house, so much love. Tell me about it. What was it like? Start here. I mean, for me, the whole of last night was very surreal. I mean, my first premiere. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I think it was kind of how I expected it. Okay. Um, but also to see the film and know that everyone was watching just me on screen sometimes, that was, Intense. and hearing me sing, oh my goodness. Really? Yeah. Um, but I loved it. It was such, it was room full of love and support and I just felt really proud of everything that we made together. For sure. Yeah. Lots to be proud of. Was it anybody's first time seeing it uh, in that form, this big screen and all oh, like yeah. that? Yeah. I think all of us, I right? I think all of us, yeah. yeah all of us. It was kind of like seeing the stage show. Like the, the audience were really vocal. Like after each number, people would be screaming and whooping. It was yeah. like being like going to the theater and watching and watching it, except for sure. yeah. on camera. I was I was a little not. I, don't I, I was say wondering if it was happening like, like that since we were there. <laughs> well, sure. you were in the back screaming first, getting everyone going. <laughs> that helps. Let you me get the most going. Yeah. Yeah. You were pushing it along. For you were sure. moving it along. Absolutely, you have to, man. So I'll be at a theater near you, making sure that get after out, out, my out. number. I'm you think like, you're tired now, Jason. You're starting the road show. You're going to be at every screening. Just Absolutely, because somebody needs to start to clap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Needs to be that one guy. I, um, I real quick, I wanted to take a look at just while we're celebrating this moment in time, just some of the reactions that were on Twitter coming out of last night. We had a couple here that were going to put them up for us in just a second. The first one should pop up. This was right, this was a great one. Oh my God. Cats movie is the best musical film since Greece. It was amazing and the audience was in tears by the end. I'm going to watch it again and again. This was huge. Uh, give me the next one. Yeah, I wrote that this morning. Okay, yeah. <laughs> He's not just in the movie, he's doing PR. He's doing it Absolutely. This one I just really enjoyed. Uh, the moment Ian McKellen scream meowed, yam, 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 was the moment I left my body for good. That's an amazing one. Brilliant. That. That. Uh, and then this one's been making the rounds. Let's go look at this one over here. Uh, this is the largest tweet ever, by the way. Thank you, guys. The Cats movie is the strangest, most bewildering, queerest, magical, and spectacular cinematic experience I have ever had. I am not sure what just happened, but I know that it was something worth experiencing. Like, that is, I don't even know how to process that either. And that is how everybody felt walking out. It was like, what just happened? This was insane. I think it's so beautiful and so elaborate and such a spectacle. Uh, and it's blowing expectations out of the water. How did it feel for you guys to see it for the first time? Did it blow your expectations out of the water? I mean, me personally, I, I was blown away, and I found myself like hooping and, and, and hollering, um, like honestly speaking, because uh, like it just it made me feel that way. And it was like I was watching it for the first. I was actually watching it for the first time, but like I know every scene so well, and it all felt so new to me, though. Um, and it comes across different on screen than when you're actually there. Because we're there all day long, and then you kind of kind of get diluted by amazing talent when it's, when it's kind of in your face all the time. And <laughs> yeah, because you have the most unbelievable talents in the world, and when you're there for four months, it's like, oh, yeah, that's just that person just doing incredible things. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we know that. Yeah, yeah it's all good. Exactly. But when you see it in, in the film form, it was it was just unbelievable to watch. I have to imagine too. You know, when the first trailer came out, it took over 
well, everything. Everyone's conversation was about, I can't believe, look at this film. And, and now it's, it's coming out in earnest and everyone's seeing it. And again, it's taking over the conversation. Um, what was that like? What, did you guys anticipate that reaction? Because I'm curious what your reaction was the first time you saw yourselves. Because you guys don't look like that when you're performing it, when you're rehearsing it, when you're filming it. There's like a specific like, cat suit that wasn't that that you were wearing. And then they do the enhancements. What was your initial reaction to, oh my gosh, this looks wild? You know, I wasn't too surprised. We we saw our, our mock-ups. I think the first time we saw our ears and our tails, that was pretty wild. Yeah. Um, but you know when Avatar came out, they were like, what is that? That is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Uh, but that movie ended up doing pretty well. And I think it's so great to have a, uh, a movie musical get so much buzz. Yeah. It's so incredible for this art form. Yeah. Uh, Jason? I have to ask, having seen the final product on a giant screen, once and for all, what is the verdict? Did they smooth anything out? Did they? <laughs> is, it, is it just fur? Is it, are you happy with the end result? You know, I mean, I'm very happy with the end result, and it, and it makes sense, you know? Um, I, w I would have edited out as well. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, because, you know, certain things work for certain things, and, you know, cats are very discreet. You know, and do you think I'm like sorry. Jason. when I wake up in the morning, it's not a very discreet situation. It's very in your face, do you so to speak. Think you would even have to navigate these ridiculous questions. And I'm a part of the problem. I just asked. <laughs> and I acknowledge that. I'm fully aware of that. Do you think if the Instagram thing didn't happen, nobody would even bring it up? Do you think that's why everybody's talking to you about this and brings it everywhere you go? This is something you have to answer to now. Listen, I love it. It's hilarious. It's, it's fun, the, right? It's the funniest. <laughs> It's the funniest thing to there ever happen in my life. There are worse things to be known for. No, it's literally <laughs> hilarious. And and when I put and I when I posted the picture, I had no idea this was gonna happen. But like, it's amazing. I can't say anything without it being a headline now. Like, yeah. I literally somebody asked me, do you, they were like, do you think they CGI'd like part parts of your, your body? And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they they CGI'd you know certain parts just to make it like smooth and nice. And then the headline reads a totally different. It's like they CGI'd the you know what I'm saying? It was I figured the beauty of, of this uh, this forum here, we have a, a couple of minutes to talk, is to let you set the record straight mm -hmm. and, and put it out there and make the final statement <laughs> on this ridiculous affair that you've been confronted <laughs> with. But uh, thank you for humoring me. Come on. And doing fun. that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back for a second real quick. What was, you know, something we talk about a lot on the stage, especially nowadays with, with all the different projects that come out, is navigating. All right, hold on one second. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Just little, polish it. There's yeah, a little dust on my name. There we go. <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Navigating the space between the excitement of a project like this and the pressure of a project like this, right? It's the coolest thing in the world, and it's got to feel amazing. You get to be a part of the, the Cats movie, but also you've got to live up to that name. You've got to deliver on those fans. What's it been like operating in that space? How, do you have to just put all those expectations out and focus on what's in front of you? How, how do you perform under that pressure? Yeah, definitely. We're, we're making something completely new. Yes, it has all the, the nods to the original film, but Tom definitely wanted to make something new and exciting for a new audience that most of which have, have no relationship to the original film, to the original play, sorry. Um, yeah, certainly like my character is very different in, in, in this reimagining. Uh, I think it's very different. Yeah. Uh, Francesca, you are a phenomenal dancer, and as we see in the film, singer and actor. But this was it's your first premiere, your first foray into this world. Um, talk about getting ready for that. We'll talk about cat school in a minute, because I know you all went there. But just in general, like, uh, w what did it feel like for you coming into this experience? I, mean, I think something that was helpful <clears throat> was that my character, Victoria, is very much um, new to everything that she's seeing. So that kind of, yeah, I could kind of channel that um, Every day on set, I could just like focus on like everything was bewildering to me, <laughs> so that really helped. Um, and yeah, just taking each scene like as it came and not dwelling on yeah like the enormity of you know like what a um, you know a spectacle we were trying to create. Just really staying true to like each scene as it came, day by day, and that really helped. And then just trying to forget that I was with Judy Dench and stuff, you know. That's yeah, well, I was going to say, you know, Jason, you made the joke about how, oh, yeah, these are amazing, talented people, and after a certain amount of time, that's just what they do. Did you, like, seek counsel or advice? Like, what an opportunity to be surrounded by all these incredible talents. Do you ever, like, find time in between takes and be like, hey, how would you do this? Or, or things like that. Or just, what have you learned that I can learn right now? Like, I think everyone was just watching and learning from each other. I didn't ask for advice, but I took a lot of inspiration from 
how amazing everyone was at doing what they do best, just witnessing that um, for myself. But then also just to see there was such an amazing atmosphere because everyone was at the top of their game. You know, there was so much, like such an amazing atmosphere, like no egos or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and also just seeing how humble and wonderful, you know, everyone is in real life. Like, you know, Judy E and the whole cast, just to have these incredible talents and they're just they just made us all feel really comfortable, right? There was no point where anyone made me feel daunted at any point. And like at some point we all had to do something that was completely out of our comfort zone. Yeah. So we were like all in it together. <laughs> and what you sing opposite Jennifer Hudson, like that's that's daunting. <laughs> but it's important to be in an environment that kind of sets you up for success and is loving and welcoming. And it just looks like you guys, it looks like a big family and you had like, you had to have had the most amazing time making this, uh, I would imagine. Um, talk to me a little bit, uh, what is Cat School? Uh, everyone's talked about, Andrew's talked a little bit about what he learned at Cat School. Did you all go to Cat School? How long? I got nothing, I got like three cards on just Cat School stuff here because I'm fascinated by this concept. Trust me, what everybody was wants to to know about cat school. How could they not? Can <clears throat> you blame them? No, I mean, I mean, did they go to ape school in Planet of the Apes? I'm did, curious. Did I don't they? know. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. They might have. They might have. It's I entirely don't know. possible. Uh, but um, at, at cat school, you know, it's, it's, it's basically, <laughs> um, you're getting all the information about cats, yeah. you know, and you you're trying to figure out uh, which uh, tidbit you know, works for your character. Right. So you can kind of decide those things for yourself. But um, the basics, you know, like uh, as human beings, we walk, you know, opposite arm, opposite leg. You know, cats, same arm, same leg. Um, cats notice things with their sense of smell first. You know, so if there is, you know, someone that I'm interested in, um, I might smell her first and then turn my back, yeah? So like it's those little uh, little tidbits like that that just really make the film come was, was there somebody you were like, oh wow, they're really good at being a cat. Like they got it right away. They were like, they're a good cat. Sir Ian McKellen was really? amazing. <laughs> yeah, well so my first experience when we did, when, did, did greeting, yeah. you're three inches away from each other, smelling each other's faces, <laughs> gathering all the information, and if you like each other, you tap noses. So I'm three inches away from Gandalf, just smelling his face. <laughs> for like 15 seconds. And then finally I go into tab and he goes, no, 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 I'm not ready yet. So <laughs> I go back and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> and we finally got it and we tap noses. But you know, if he, um, if he was picking up some bad energy from you, he was just like, <sighs> you, we were all very accepting of each other. We would always tap and accept one another and start rubbing up on each other. But if he didn't like you, he just started hissing and I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> What a gratifying answer to that question. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, that was my first time hearing that, too. That was nice. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, you know, Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber was at the premiere last night, uh, wrote some new music for this as well. I'm curious, how uh, involved in the production, What did you get to meet him? Did, did he have any input? Did you guys have any interactions with him at all? Yeah, your name. I don't know. Yeah, I had to like. I had a very different take on my number, which we had to show to Andrew. Um, and I did it for the first. Do you remember what we had? I had yeah. to like, kind of show him what we were gonna do with the number. Um, that was kind of scary. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. yeah. He came yeah. in and, and like gave it his seal of approval. Notes and stuff and input, or you just liked it, or I think he was just like a yes or no, and he was like, yeah, I love it. Let you know, carry on with that. Wow. No, That's but that was kind of scary, you know. Getting his seal of approval for the music. Of course, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's wild. Did he at any point, did he have any like, sage words of wisdom or guidance for anybody? Or was it make your version of this kind of thing? Um, For me, uh, one day, you know, somebody came up to me and they're like, uh, Jason, uh, Andrew wants to see you. I'm like, Andrew who? <laughs> um, he's like, Lloyd Webber. Oh, no. Lloyd Webber, bro. I was like, Andrew Lloyd Webber wants to see me? Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is incredible. I mean, I was a theater kid, you know, I went to college for theater. Andrew is like the king, you know. Um, so I go into the to this room and I, I meet him and he seems like a, a nice guy. And he's like, well, I, I just want to see if you can like sing this higher, right? So he wants me to try it higher. So I'm like, okay, <clears throat> it's already pretty high, but Andrew acts, Andrew gets. So uh, I sing it higher and he's like, uh, can you try it a little higher? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Let's 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 try it a little higher. I sing it higher again, and he was like, "Oh, this this is you know I really like this. This you know this feels like a money spot, but let's try it a little higher." So we go up another step, um, 
And he was like, yeah, this is cool, but you, we'll, we'll take the one <laughs> that's a little lower. So we ended up uh, bringing the key up to two, uh, two notches. That's wild. You didn't whip yeah. out the scissors and go, we can make you a castrato. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, the problem. Uh, it's when you just remove a certain part of your anatomy to make uh, you sing. You know, like, uh, it's when uh, instead of photoshopping it out, they use yeah. the scissors <laughs> is what they do. <laughs> It's awful. Oh, and you yeah. get Terrible yeah. procedure. Problem uh, solved. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I needed. <laughs> Jason, you mentioned being a theater kid. I, I don't know if it was like a year and change or so ago, but you did that performance that blew everybody's mind, and you, and you kind of showed the world that, that operatic side that you had and that classical training that you had. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious how much of that sort of uh, prepared you for the theatricality of this role. Well, for my main song, um, I, I didn't sing classically at all. Um, but it was great to, to utilize it within the company. Um, that was that was a lot of fun. So you know every other song was was classical, but my main number was not. Um, so yeah, I mean, to me, it's always great to have the tools when when you may need them. Um, in this instance, you know, it wasn't as as needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were about to say something. I saw your microphone move. Sorry. <laughs> uh, a lot of you have, um, you know, professional experience in, in, in Broadway choreography and dancing uh, off screen and on stage. And I'm curious, uh, sort of comparing and contrasting the rehearsal process for a big feature film like this versus uh, a big Broadway show or a big stage production. You know, is it a similar process? Is it all the same at the end of the day? Or is it dramatically different? Just what's it like? That's a great question. I, I think it was uh, fairly similar. I mean, you learn the choreography, you make sure it makes sense. Uh, but one thing that was really fascinating uh, was um, when we were up in the graveyard scene and we were doing the pas de deux, um, dance between two people, um, Tom Hooper comes up and he says, I don't understand what this means. Like, every step needs to make sense. And so we would talk about if this, what the clarity of the movement was. And I just love that dance had the... Um, the same importance as words in a song and words that you're speaking. Uh, that's that's a really cool um, tool that that dancing can be for for storytelling. And I, I enjoyed Tom Hooper kind of dissecting just the intricacies of all the movements to make make the story. For sure, I had never danced before. I'm not a, I'm not a dancer by trade, so it was just like throwing yourself in. A period. Ever. Never danced. Like. In the club, I'll like at a wedding, out. maybe I'll <laughs> throw it down I'll in the throw club. It down. <laughs> and yes. like, since filming this film, I've got you know, I've got, I've added, some, I've added some moves to my repertoire. <laughs> uh, can we see them? Uh, maybe, maybe later. Yeah, yeah. I love the idea of you pulling out a move from Cats at like the club. <laughs> the club. <laughs> the mist, though. <laughs> it's, it's a dirty drop. <laughs> Francesco, what about for you when it came to the dancing and stuff? You were like, well, this is my wheelhouse. I got this. This is easy. I understand that. Or, or was there even uh, something in that element that maybe pushed you a little bit out of your comfort zone? Um, no, the dancing was definitely something I was like, no, I'm no. not nervous. I yeah. can work around anything. But, I mean, the sets we had to dance on, like, you'd practice it in the studio, in rehearsals, like a big pirouette or something and then you get to the set and realize you had to do it on like a tiny china plate or like a big you know like something yeah. that was quite a challenge um remember the only time i got nervous on set was during a dance number um in mungo jerry rumple teaser at the end we all go a bit wild and we like start smashing the room up a bit and um tom hooper told me i had to do a, a big pirouette wh which was part of the choreography but holding on to a china plate, and then I had to finish the pirouette and throw the china plate across the room so it would smash, except there was one of the world's most expensive cameras, like at the other side of the room, and I had to make sure that when I finished, I didn't smash the camera. I had to aim it just underneath, but it was, that was, I was like, right, I'm nervous now, okay? Um, but yeah, that was fine. <laughs> How many takes did you have to do until you nailed it? I did a few, and there were also a lot of people around as well, that camera, so <laughs> no one got hurt, but yeah. Yeah, literally, but yeah. No, so that was fine, but... I think uh, even if people haven't seen the movie, there's been a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, and, a lot, and we get to see that a lot of the sets were, in fact, practical and were built, and, and they're physically there. What was uh, one of the most surprising ones for you, or one of the most impressive ones that you saw? For me, probably the, the junkyard. It's full of like hundreds of props that are all two and a half times the size so like giant bicycles ovens and when we went in first to rehearse in there it was very much like a playground and tom would be like like you see anything you like you use it and you go in and for like any performer or, or artist to just
just have that freedom of going like, what can I use? What can I interact with? It was like being a kid in a candy shop. Yeah. Did they give you time to sort of explore the sets before they jumped into, here's the choreography, here's where your marks are going to be. They just kind of let you walk around and see where everything was. And get a we feel? played a lot of hide and seek in the, uh, yeah. yeah, sardines. Such a good place to play hide and seek on set. Really fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah um, for me, um, the milk bar was, it was a spectacle for sure. And when I seen it, I was like, oh, this is cool. Wait, you want me to dance where? On, on top, On top of the thing? That thing was like two stories high. Like it was like like serious. If you fall, like that's it. Yeah, that's you're done. Were you roped in or anything? Like did they remove it later? Or just like just so you were um, extra safe? I was or? roped most of the time, but sometimes I wasn't because I had to like make it down. Um, you know, for a certain you know scene. Um, but I mean, still, when you're roped, I mean, it's still, it's still like scary. it's just scary. Yeah. Um, and it's and it's, it's just really really high. You know, I don't really like heights. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, I'm a little better now. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll scare you. <laughs> Definitely. And what uh, what about the comfort level of the the suits that you guys did wear? Uh, obviously, they've added your years. They've added the tails and stuff like that. But uh, what what was it like? What were you actually in on set? What did it in, look like? In in a unitard with was it? wires and sensors and battery packs. Um, it was pretty pretty simple, and I think they constructed it with dancers in mind, knowing what needed to move, what needed to bend. Uh, so the packs were yeah, in very we're pretty much places. naked. Yeah. Yeah. Does that is that hard to, to kind of act around at that point? Is it distracting to, to get or difficult to get yourself in that zone and, and and find where you need to be because everybody's walking around with tennis balls and ping pong balls and various other and bums in your face. And bums in your yeah. face and whatnot and Jason's walking around doing his thing and everybody's <laughs> <Because> just <laughs> I'm I, listen <laughs> the the thing for me as a performer, um in my normal day job, you know, clothing is such a thing. Like, a, as a dancer in my world, it's part of the swag, you know, and, you know, the the nice jacket you have, you know, the shoes you got, it's like, it just adds to the vibe. Um, when you got on a Lycra suit, man, it's hard to find any kind of vibe. Um, so, <laughs> like, any, any vibes, like, it was, you know, so, you know, you have to find it within yourself, and then, um, I really decided to, instead of focusing on a vibe or the movements, to just focus on the character, um, and that just helped me through it. Mm -hmm. Um, well, like I said, I got cards on cards of questions, but I want to make sure we have time for all the audience questions as well, but I can't say enough congratulations, guys. It is, it is an achievement. It is that the people are going to see it over and over again, and it's so much fun, and it really is a spectacle, and it's just... Such an amazing film. So congratulations, guys. You're so Thank good. You. Thank you. For um, let's go ahead. Uh, get a couple of questions from the room. I got at least two of them. Get the microphones out there. Let's do it up. First one's all the way in the back. Hi. I was wondering what other Andrew Lloyd Webber movie musical you'd want to be a part of next. I was always the biggest fan of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Uh, but Donny Osmond did such a good job on that way back when. I, lo I mean, I love, I love Phantom. Yeah. Um, Phantom is like, t like top for me. Yeah. I say both. Yeah. Yeah. My first, um, one of my first times on stage was at school in Joseph, you know, the school version, and I did a ballet solo, and I just was the harvest, the whole harvest. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so that's where I started. But Phantom could be cool. That was a good question. Thank you for that. Can I do, I'm going to do one more. Let's get one more. Come on down. What do you got? Hi. We have an online question from our site. So um, what do you think the heaven side layer looks like, and can you describe it in three words? It's full of balls of yarn and loads of other <laughs> Balls of yarn. Yeah, nailed it. Balls three words. Yarn. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> balls of yarn. Uh, is, that like, is that a group answer? Are we? Yeah. <laughs> <nobody>? <laughs> yeah. Cat heaven. Where do you go from there? Cat heaven. That Ball of yarn. Balls of yarn. Yeah, you nailed it. Well done. <laughs> it's like, they, they, they're doing all of that to just get to some balls of yarn. Wow. <laughs> Loves nothing more. Um, uh, 
sincerely, thank you so much for being here. I know you guys got a trillion things going on. It means a lot to hang out with you guys and talk a little bit about this. Uh, you are all fantastic and uh, amazingly talented. Congratulations again. Uh, Cats, people, it's coming out. Get your tickets right now. Do not miss it. Get a bunch of sets of tickets. You're going to want to see it more than once because there's so much. It rewards the viewing experience. Uh, everybody, thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Being such an Appreciate awesome audience. That. It was so great to have you guys here. Uh, and thank you guys again for hanging out. Congratulations. Everybody, do me a favor. Crazy amount of noise. This is the cast of cats. Hey, whatever, Francesca, Jason, Lauren, Robbie over here. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Thank you so much.